Hey everybody, today I'm taking a look at the second expansion for Teotihuacan. This is the Shadow of Shitle. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Uh, this one is a very small box expansion which only contains 10 new technology tiles and 10 new starting tiles. So uh, let's take a look at them. Uh, so this one here, um, when you've unlocked all your workers on a turn, you get to move up a temple of your choice. Um, and as you can see from here, it's got the orange track on there. So this one does work with the first expansion. Uh, this one here, when you take the cocoa action, um, you can take one more cocoa. Uh, that one there, when you take the six action, you get to go up a temple of your choice. Um, this one here, when you place the decorations on the temple, you get to place it in any orientation. So that's quite a nice one. This one I particularly like. So whenever you pass the uh, the one spot, you get to trade up to four of one type of resource to up to four of another type of resource. Uh, this one here, um, when you pay your workers during an eclipse, uh, you can choose to pay an additional um, cocoa and take two points for each worker you do that to. So um, that's quite a nice one if you've got surplus uh, cocoa to spare. Uh, this one here, um, basically, I think it's when you take a um, one of these tiles, you get to go up the pyramid track. Or oh, sorry, I think it's when you when you take the seven action. That is uh, that one there lets you move back one of your workers um, backwards on the rondelle and then move another worker one to three spaces. So it gives you a bit more manipulation to line up your turns. Um, that's a really nice one. This one here boosts the mass strategy. Um, so if you take a mask tile, you take an additional two points. So you can really kind of focus on that and maybe boost or, you know, focus on that mask strategy, which I think is maybe a bit neglected um, in the game up to this point. Uh, that one there, whenever you unlock a worker, you get four victory points. So again, um, it kind of helps you focus on that unlocking ability, which is often neglected in the base game. Um, the starting tiles uh, as such, so we've got this one here, move up on the orange track, take two word, take two gold, uh, go up on the pyramid track, which is you know a new addition to this little expansion. Normally you don't get the kind of um, you know, the option just to go further on that pyramid track unless you do one of those actions, but obviously you get the word and the gold, but that's this one. Uh, go up two different tracks and take a resource of your choice, two different tracks and take two cocoa. Um, go up the orange track, get three cocoa and two stone. And I think you can start with two workers on the six action. Um, this one here lets you take the most powerful technology tile or the highest numbered technology tile. Um, so you start with that extra ability and obviously take another decoration token, whatever those are called. Uh, this one there lets you take two worship actions at the start of the game. And not only do you get the, um, the, the temple bonus, but you also get the tile as well. But you do start with those two workers being locked. Um, so I suppose that can complement with other tiles such as um, such as this one. Um, this one here, obviously you've got to take the strongest um, technology tile and um, start with a random resource or a wild resource. Again, pyramid tile, take three cocoa and a stone. And this one here, again, a really good one where you start with your fourth worker unlocked at level three and you get an additional ascension bonus as well. So I think that one is quite powerful, but that's all this um, little expansion consists of, just those little tiles. Um, which is, you know, it's nice because it doesn't add to the setup bonus, doesn't add to the rules overhead, but these are particularly good ones, I think. I think they're all quite interesting and um, I think they're worth having. It's, it's a relatively cheap expansion. I like the way it complements the, um, the second expansion or the first expansion as well, because obviously you've got the orange tile bonuses um, and these do, or these are comparable, compatible with the solo mode and with the god tiles and stuff as well. So again, nice, no overhead at all. And it's just, um, I think it's worth having if you're a fan of Teotihuacan, like I am. Um, something that's worth mentioning as well, you do get a little bonus um, promo tile for Tris Magistus if you are a fan of that game. So again, probably a bigger box than it needs to be, but you can get rid of this and just chuck this with the uh, with the, your base game. And that is Teotihuacan Shadow of Shitley.